Now, some of her credits include being the face of Entertainment Tonight, The Insider, and currently Inside Edition. And not only that, she's an Emmy winner and an LGBTQ community advocate. Here to talk with us today about her journey through entertainment, we want to welcome Victoria Ricano. Wow. Wow. That was a big welcome. Thank you. <laughs> we tried to, we tried to go big. Good job. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a lot of pressure because you're right here. I know. I'm the pro. <laughs> right. I'm over here. They, they got me from the back alley and put yeah. me in here. So I'm just, I'm just well, everything you said sort of started to stress me out a little bit. Like, All right. Oh, Babe, we're so excited to yeah. have you here yes. um, for so many reasons, particularly because you're an ethnic woman who has been covering entertainment news for a long time. You've been on the big ones with Entertainment Tonight, with uh, the, ins you started the Insider. Now, with going back to Inside Edition, what has been the journey like? Being ethnic and mm. being on those carpets and being in those rooms and being on those sound stages with these huge celebrities and influencers. I mean, it's been an amazing journey and it's uh, so far, I mean, listen, I'm still on it. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's incredible. Uh, there's been so many changes though with social media, right. as you guys understand. And um, there's been a, a learning curve for me in trying to sort of incorporate all of the things that need to be incorporated in order to share the story mm -hmm. and in order to, you know, send the message, mm -hmm. if, that, if, if that makes sense. No, absolutely. Absolutely makes sense. And um, you've seen the progression. Um, you were just at the Oscars and, and cover all of them. Um, but um, I want to know about representation, particularly with the LGBTQ community. We, when you first started, I imagine like the stories were different. Now when you have like a Billy Porter or you have, you know, uh, the big, like even with like somebody like a Gaga, you can talk about all LGBT. How is that different? It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Now it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's really changed so much. Mm -hmm. And I think um, everyone embraces the community in a very special way. Mm -hmm. um, even my kids. It's so cute because one of my, my kids says, oh, uh, Jordan's so lucky because he has lots of dads. <laughs> and I thought, wait a minute, define lots of dads. How yeah. many dads is that? Uh -huh. He's like, he has two. And I was like, okay. wow. I know, I was like, okay. <laughs> and, um, but I just thought, you know, I, I was thinking, you know, wow, that's cool. Even, you know, at such a young age, I think all around all of us and even especially, you know, when they're that little and, and they're really starting to understand the world, it's so important mm -hmm. for them to recognize it mm -hmm. and to appreciate. So I think the whole, um, building on that, the whole world right now is in this moment of like authenticity, which I think some people might think is an, uh, and, and tet, what's the word, is the opposite, let's say, of uh, red carpet hosting. Because there's so much of red carpet hosting that is, has been traditionally a little bit surface. What are you wearing? Tell us about it. So actually that, that serves a purpose too, because people don't want to always be thinking, you know, you know, deeply as well. But I did notice that there's more, I don't know, there's more chance for authentic conversation on the carpet. Do you find that that's true? Um, I do actually. Um, there, it's sort of like, um, it, things are melding together mm -hmm. in a way mm -hmm. because like I look at like Billie Eilish and she looked amazing. She was decked out in Chanel <laughs> and you know, her hair, my mom or my, my, actually my daughter says, mom, what color was her hair? Tell me, was it still green? I'm uh -huh. like, yeah, uh -huh. but it's just one of those things where I think people feel a lot more um, able to be open mm -hmm. and really just express themselves you know, who would have ever thought, okay, you're going to wear this, sh you're going to be all decked out in Chanel with green hair. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. obviously she's making so a statement and there's something That's there. a statement. Yeah. Just hitting back on the Oscars really quick, I was reading a story where they, um, the headline was about Cynthia Revo making time for this African-American journalist, and that the article went into saying how a lot of people tend to ignore either journalists of color or journalists of smaller media outlets. Do you find that still... An issue? You know, I actually, I don't necessarily find that an issue. Um, and the reason being is that I think, I think almost even the opposite. I feel as if a lot of times people want to like support something smaller, a smaller venue, and also maybe also want to support people of diverse, you know, ethnicity. Right. I do, I, I have noticed that as a change. 
Oh, well, yeah, that's well, good. Well, I'm going to stand you. back on the end of the line. And Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank Victoria for joining us. You can follow her at Victoria Ricano and look for her on Inside Edition. Don't forget to visit us at LATV.com, and we will see you soon next time right here on The Q Agenda. Mm -hmm.